Hello lads and lasses, TRC plays here and I'm coming at you with another tutorial and uh, this video is going to be about a ship that only 12 people have <laughs> I mean literally because nobody I know that actually has the ship except for maybe one The Oleg, tier 2 Russian protective cruiser um, uh, First off this is pretty much a Bogatir it, uh, it has everything that you'd find in a Bogatir even its armor layout, it's almost, it's actually the same, I'll come think of it. And it's pretty much everything Bogatir related, it's not even close to a ship like Aurora. It's, it's a Bogatir class cruiser. Now enough of the rambling and nonsense, let's get into the upgrade. So for the solo upgrade, we went for steering gears. Because it gets a slightly lower chance to not get your steering gears vibe checked and uh, for your steering gears to actually repair faster which is nice and always required in a tier 2 game seeing that HE is very popular at tier 2 now let's take a look at uh, the armor armor wise it's tier 2 so it's not going to hit anything in the sense what I'm trying to make out of it is that in tier 2 you don't expect to have very hot, thick armor so it's mostly 14 millimeters, uh, 14 millimeter hull superstructure, but then Bogatir also carries its trope of having a turtle back. The turtle back uh, citadel is uh, all usually found on German ships as well, but Bogatir seems to have it as well. So does Oleg. It's tier two, so people are less likely to be flinging AP at you unless they know what they're doing. So uh, pretty much the armor layout w can be played with. Now let's take a look at the commander, Stepan Osipovich Makarov. Now with Stepan Makarov you have his base trait which is nights shorter than days which increases the duration of damage control party which is uh, useful a lot especially since you get torched to the ground very often. Ingenious which is a skill that I believe Gunter Lucians also has where it increases um, the traverse speed of your cruiser's guns and incoming splash damage as well as it's also a warning indicator to how many ships have spotted you full speed ahead, Bogatir has good speed but having that extra 3% speed boost is useful as well as the rudder shift then we get to sponge which reduces incoming damage for cruisers so yay for that just so you don't get deleted on the first salvo and um, ships like Bogatir are already tough enough to delete steer clear which also is great for rudder shift and steering gear repairs so this is entirely based on rudder shift and speed in general then for, le for legendary you can go fully packed which is why I recommend it go since I also use Stepan Makarov for ships like Shores and Kirov for our inspirations we'll go for Gunichi Mikawa and his clandestine skill which increases concealment and Andre Ru with the grenadier skill which also increases cruiser HE shell damage which is very useful at low tiers because more of the times it's more likely that people will just spam HE at you so that's pretty much the tutorial for it. Then we have the gameplay, which will be coming in right now. Крейсер потоплен.
палатки устранены. Торпеды за кормой. Вражеские слои с потолком. Наша команда получила преимущество. 